Ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the Slow to Speak podcast, you guys. Wonderful, 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 wonderful time. That's so many wonderful. <laughs> I'm a little tired, though. We gonna push through, though. Yeah. We got this. We sure do. Um... We have, no, not a lot to cover, but another spinoff topic. Mm. Um, before we jump into that, I want to give a big, big shout out to Eden. Yes, Eden. No, it's not a woman. It's place. <laughs> and not the garden I'm talking about. I'm talking about Eden in Studio. East Orange, New, well, Orange, New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> It is a creative hub. You can come down here, get all of your creative things and stuff mm -hmm. done, like podcasts, mm -hmm. okay? But for now, we we're gonna jump into our topic today. My name is Destiny, and this is, <laughs> and we are Slow to Speak. We switch up the intro yeah, every, every time. time. Yeah, and going. that's what, we keep you all on your toes. All right, so our last conversation, we delve into Sexual intercourse. <laughs> okay? We, the nucky. <laughs> the horizontal mambo. Yeah, somebody said in the chat. <laughs> horizontal mambo. Um, and we've came to a conclusion, <laughs> mutually, that our generation is, is, is very much so sex crazy. Mm. And um, <laughs> we want to talk about something that you don't hear too often. No. These days. Mm -hmm. And that is. Unless you're in certain places. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That is the big C. Yes. No, not for carrot cake. For celibacy. Mm. Um, T mm -hmm. is married. So he's not celibate. He's <laughs> one of the lucky ones. He got out early. What? He did his time. <laughs> he did his time. Um, I'm also celibate too. And for those of you that don't know, congratulations. <laughs> anything funny. <laughs> funny. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, um, and I know this is TMI, like I don't run around telling people I'm celibate unless I mean, like, it calls at least for, for it. For our, for your, you people. Yeah. You know, you know. Unless it calls for it. But um, celibacy is what? What is, how would you describe celibacy? I mean, there's the actual definition, but what does I mean, it mean? Celibacy, I think it's uh, making a conscious decision to be absent and from having intercourse, sexual intercourse. I don't know about sex acts, because some people might say they still they do. want to do certain things and not do penetration. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I found the word in time. I started to squint. How long were you celibate before you got married? The people that want to know. Oh. Yeah, uh, 29 years. <laughs> but until basically all my life until that point. I'm obviously I'm not 29 now. <laughs> no, that's great. And you're gonna tell us how you did it. <laughs> <laughs> what made you decide mm -hmm. to go celibate? Well, uh, I grew up in a church, um, and. Unlike, I hope they don't see that. Unlike a lot of the other young people in church, Ooh. I listened. Ah! <laughs> Not I listened. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I listened. Um, I so I grew up with both grandparents being, you know, in church, even though they went to different uh, denominations, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And they, so that's where my church background. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, I went to church and I listened to what they said. They said, don't do this, you don't do that. Um, some of the things they said, don't do, I've done. Um, unfortunately, most of us do because we're human. Right. Um, that's just one of the things that I was able to successfully hold off on. And believe it or not, for you out there, they're just like me. Mm -hmm. I pride myself in it. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's because, and it doesn't, it's not to say that there were challenges, because I know some of you videos going to come here like, oh, you're going really get no options. Right. right. Um, it's not because of that. It's because I didn't put myself in situations, and that's one of the most important things, not putting myself in situations that would force me to compromise that. Um, and um, so that's how I was able to do it. So being focused 
Um, and then to relationships to me ever since I was young was never to just like run around and fling around. It was always like right. when you get into a relationship, your so goal is to is to trajectory yeah. into marriage. Right. That's 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 my thing. So um, because of those two things um, and just me being trying not to make God mad. <laughs> you know, uh, so that's the third thing that I think that's that's how. So, but but if you want to get a little bit more into detail, mm -hmm. I would, if I knew a girl I was interested in is the opposite, mm -hmm. yeah, we will be friends. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to find myself in a lonely or secluded or right, right. Place You're not going to like put yourself in a temptation. situation with temptation. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I had a neighbor one time. Mm -hmm. tell. She, 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 she was technically was my type, Not but she, she's a, she, 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 <laughs> she, 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 she's a, she, she, I mean, I don't know if I have a voice now, but she was a pretty girl, but she was more on the heavy set side. So I was never really that attracted to that type of female, mm -hmm. right? And don't get your niggas in a bunch. We have types. Everyone has Everyone. a type. So, yeah. <laughs> So I'm a pimp squeak. I'm a lot of people's non <laughs> <laughs> A lot of guys are running after me, so it's okay. So we, you know, we started talking over the fence. Remember in the last episode I talked about that dream thing, that Hollywood thing of being, you know, having a pretty neighbor or whatever. Yes. So we started talking over the fence. And, you know, I knew from her conversations that she was that was not a problem for her. She was open to that. Um, but this girl was freaking almost obsessed with me. And I knew it. And I could have taken advantage, but because I wasn't, uh, we did the most we did was we just kissed over the fence, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> but I knew if I ever, yeah, had, that you if I ever yeah. went over that fence or ever hung out over there, not just me could have, she would have. Mm. And I think right, I, she was, she was like, yes, she was way head. head over heels. So I definitely think she would have. So mad we don't have Steve here. Steve who? Steve, Steve, he's supposed to know. I did you? I asked him. Oh God, this is all recorded. But I asked <laughs> him to come on the podcast. This is another mm -hmm. friend of ours. He's also celibate, and mm -hmm. probably should have saved this topic. But I'll find a way to bring him back around. Yeah, Maybe we'll be going to a different nuance. Mm -hmm. We never know what the comments might have. Exactly, we have to revisit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he's also celibate, and mm -hmm. you guys have a different. Because for him, it was like he was doing his own thing, then transition to celibacy. Whereas with okay. you, it uh, was awesome. always mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> but um, your perspective. Yeah, it'll be to yeah. battle girls. Yes, so it's yes, a little yes. bit yeah. different. Yeah. I feel like you never hear, this is why I'm, I'm excited about this conversation, mm -hmm. because you never hear a man mm -hmm. saving himself till marriage. You never hear that. Like, Either it's that or like that. It's very rare, but yeah. it's one of those things that I have so much respect for mm -hmm. because I know as a man, the pressure is on you. Oh, the pressure's on it. You know what I'm saying? The well, there's a lot of women lot. that want to pop that cherry. Which is crazy. You wouldn't think that. <laughs> because women of come them. off as like, oh yeah, yeah, like, well, men are the horny ones. Like, yeah. we're, when, no. Society talks about a we man who wanted a virgin. A virgin female? Mm -hmm. Women wanting a virgin dude is enough. They want to be, you know what it is? It's the obsession with being the first. And, they and just want to be the first one to do it. Like, that's it. For, for bragging rights. And I also think that in their minds, now I don't know how true it is because it never happened to me, and I definitely ain't a woman. I feel like I'm so, going with this. So I, I think ahead. there's an idea of control and they can get you to do. Yes, Whatever and they then say, when you present, you don't know what the, the heck, worst. You don't know what the heck is what? right or wrong. So they yeah. could probably get you to eat anything they want to eat. They want to eat anything. Yeah. The last mm -hmm. conversation. Mm -hmm. And that's literally what I said. I said, women, you, women will, obviously, I'm not talking about all women. We don't have to speak. Can we not do that? Because I can hear the comments in the back of my well, head. They'll just feed on <laughs> metrics. That's all. Feed on metrics. Obviously, I'm not talking about women. Yeah. But, you know, some women will. Um, use sex to manipulate men. Mm -hmm. So when you come across a man with self control and with discipline, yeah, that is that type of well, woman's worst oh, nightmare. Worst, like it will literally drive us insane. Some of them is a challenge too. 
Yeah, because because how dare you turn me down? How dare you tell me no? I'm the one that tells you no. When they say, oh, sex is up to the woman, a lot of people like to say sex is up to... No, no, no. Sex is up to whoever doesn't get in. <laughs> That's who the sex belongs to. I like to. that one. Because be very, yeah. then we're like, oh, men always want to have sex. Women, they... Basically, that's they, the person they women don't control. agree. Right. Like, but that's not the truth. Because if the man says no, who she having sex with? Exactly. You don't have to, you don't have to find another man. You have to. Yeah. If he puts his foot down. Mm -hmm. So, um, wow. My... Okay, so for me, mm -hmm. I think celibacy... First of all, celibacy is a discipline, yeah. Right. And I, I want to highlight that because <laughs> I don't know if people just have the impression that people who are celibate think that they're better or we think that we're whatever. <laughs> Baby, we're suffering. <laughs> you think <laughs> we want to be here? We're here by force. <laughs> we are here by force because we choose to put our purpose yeah. first because we choose to put our energy into other things. <laughs> That means that we are willingly depriving ourselves of physical pleasures. That you have experienced. That we, and it's worse if you have experienced it. Yes. So it's different. Okay. It's one thing when you, you haven't had sex ever in exactly. life. And then. Everything is imagination. Like, yeah. Everything is really imagination. <laughs> but then when you rode the rodeo, mm -hmm. when you paid for the ticket and yes. went to the show. Yes. Then it's like, hey, how do you, yes. you know. It's, it's, I can imagine it, it will be for anybody, it will be tougher to do it the other yeah, way around. I think so. Um, so it is definitely a, a discipline, but I want to get into why I think as a woman pursuing celibacy is beneficial and important. Before we get to that, yeah. I have a question for you. Why did you decide to become celibate? Why was I chose why, yeah, the life chose. of celibacy? Mm -hmm. Um, I think I realized, well, for one, I did want to, how do I say this for it to make sense? I didn't want one. I didn't want sex to be a distraction in my life okay. because, you know, a lot of times you can meet a person who is just not really great, <laughs> but then it's like. You know, you you may, and I'm sure women have experienced this. You sleep with them, right. and then it's like, uh, yeah. it's you know, remember because. last episode I said you got to be willing to lose your best eater. Yeah. People will make decisions because they don't want to lose their best eater. Yeah. <laughs> and I just never wanted to be that girl, so I was like, oh, child, let me make the choice while I'm ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. let me stop while I'm ahead. Like I can't, you know, I can't get into that. Um, the biggest reason, though, was because I am pursuing a closer relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And I realized to do that, you have to deny yourself of certain physical pleasures. Right. Because those things will become your God. Right. You know, those things will affect mm -hmm. the way that you pursue God, how right. often you pursue God. Mm -hmm. um, and how I think. And how you, you yeah. do as well. Because um, you always have that um that conscious thing in your head, you know? Mm -hmm. You'll always be like because we we're all trying to be, be better, you know. Yeah. Especially when you're when you're you know following that path Absolutely. of you're trying to follow, you know, in the precepts of God. And then you're like, Yeah, you're doing this. You know what I mean? Um, so I can see how that would be not just a distraction, but it'll be yeah. that you'll always just be not to say that you cannot, let's be very clear. You can do a lot of things and serve God at the same time, right? A lot of people do. I could go shoot up a church mm -hmm. and come home and pray. There are people that do, yeah. You can. But I also want to add that there is a certain practice and order, let me say. There's a certain order that God honors. Right. And part of that is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to lose your best eater. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say you have to be willing um I take my purpose in life very seriously and especially with this newfound influence that we've had with the podcast right. um I'm very dedicated to I'm very about God's business you know what I mean like I'm, I'm dedicated to pursuing God but then also sharing that with the people around me right 
So being celibate was one of those, a big thing for that. And then also, um, I just didn't want my value to be attached to my vagina. Right. I didn't want any guy that I date. That shouldn't even be, Mm -hmm. that should be the last thing you consider. You know what I'm saying? Like out of the list of things, when you think of destiny Mm -hmm. and what she brings to the table and who she is, sex wouldn't even be a factor. So I know for a fact, you're going to be judging me based off of my character. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have no choice because it's nothing else you're getting besides that. Yeah. It's, Straight character, no chaser. (laughs) That's it. Like, straight character, no chaser. And so I thought it was important to, like, also for me as well, I don't Mm -hmm. want to judge whatever guy I'm dealing with off of, like, his physical performance or whatever, because that will happen. Some women will meet a great guy, Mm -hmm. and then you have sex with them, and then you realize, oh, I can't, you know, that becomes the number one thing now on your list. So I didn't want to be one of those women. Mm -hmm. Um... I never have, but I'm saying, again, stop while you're ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I think celibacy was just the ideal way to go. And I'm also improving. I wanted to work on my self-discipline. Right. And I, what I realized is if you're disciplined in one area, mm-hmm. it rubs off on the other areas in your life. It does. So for me, one of those things was like the gym. That was mm-hmm. one. I wanted to be consistent, which, I mean, y'all know I... I I mean, now I'll be chilling because, right. you know, I've gotten to where I want to be. Right. But um, one of those things was the gym. The other thing was like journaling and prayer. Right. And then the next thing was, OK, I don't want to indulge in any sort of physical things because just of the discipline. I know that if I can deny all of the things that I feel that my body wants, right. but really doesn't need. Right. Um, then. I can it, do anything. You know what I'm saying? I can do anything. Got it. Um, so, yeah, that's my reason why. Okay. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's so many. I mean, first, I want to, before we get it, because I, I really want to get to why it's like so many benefits to yeah. it. And obviously, you'll speak from the male's perspective. Yeah. Um, I want to give a disclaimer that celibacy no matter how you put it, um, is beneficial whether you believe in God or not. Right. Right? It is. And I know some people can argue Mm -hmm. that it's not, but being disciplined Mm -hmm. sexually, being disciplined with your body, being disciplined with who you choose to lay with and spend time with Mm -hmm. is very important. And it will take you far in life, especially as a man. Especially as a man. I know for a fact, men, it's, it's, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. But I know for a fact, um, yeah, to add to that, for some people, they can't really find something familiar. It's like being veganism, right? Yes. You don't have to become a vegan, but if you incorporate some of the parts of a vegan diet, it's definitely going to benefit. It's beneficial. Yeah. How, it's just it doesn't matter across how you the board. It. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, celibacy is not easy. If this is something you've been considering, great. I'm glad we can have the conversation now. Maybe you can really think about why. You have to have the why. Yeah. You can't just do it just to do it. Right. Like, you why you do it. You're not going to make it, Um, especially if you've been in the world Mm. and you're trying to get out the world. Babes, Mm. I'm telling you now, strap up. It's going to be a long ride. Um, (laughs) Six Flags 2.0. But yeah, it's not easy. And there are going to be times (laughs) that you will want to be a whore. (laughs) Go back to your horror days. <laughs> there are some signs. Even if you never was, you're going to want to be a horror real, real bad. Real bad. Real bad. Okay? You are going to experience some things. You experience some dreams you've never had before. Okay? Dreams. <laughs> Not the dream. Your body, especially women, we ovulate. You know what time it is? Oh. Let me tell you something. Hard. When your body's preparing for a child you will never have, <laughs> ish gets real. Okay? Go when your body's preparing for childbearing, find a mate. <laughs> with an imaginary ass baby, <laughs> yeah. ish gets very real. Okay? I'm telling you, you're going to have some dreams. <laughs> and those dreams will bring you closer to God. <laughs> only God can get you grounded. I'm telling you, 
Celibacy will bring you closer to God because there's nothing else to do but cry out to him. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's nothing else to do but cry out to him, girl. And one thing about me, I, if I'm celibate, I'm celibate all the way through. I'm not masturbating. Right. I'm not doing, because I know people that are celibate, yeah. you know, like perform oral sex and like indulge in yeah, oral sex. Do, yeah. I'm doing it. Because for me, don't, don't give me no crumbs. <laughs> that makes no sense. So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Some people are probably I using can. it as a cope. And I'm glad you're talking about yourself, but some people may be like, you know, instead of breaking that promise but, to but myself. What you say? Because I, I don't, I feel like if you indulge in the other stuff, you're, that's not being celibate. Um, that's not being celibate. Celibacy, it's to deny, it's about denying the physical pleasure. So for instance, if I'm still getting sexually pleasured, then I am not celibate. Yeah, but then... I know you're going based off like the, the, the oh, it's no, sexual intercourse, no, no, but if it's sexually pleasurable... No, I was about to say that celibacy. that's, are you saying then that somebody who's a virgin and they masturbate, then they're no longer a virgin? That's not the same, right? That's not the same, but, but it's not the same concept, though. Because if you're a virgin mm -hmm. and you masturbate, mm -hmm. penetration is what makes you not a virgin. Right. But you're still getting the sexual pleasure. You see what I'm saying? So, say, so I think celibacy is to deny yourself the sexual pleasure in so general. So you're saying as a virgin, you can be too, being a virgin and celibate? I mean, that's your choice as a No, virgin. if you're a virgin... In you're, you're, yeah, but you can be a virgin, but still be having, because what we think is virgin is a penis in a vagina. Mm -hmm. So if the penis is anywhere else, the penis can right, get right, around right. the vagina, <laughs> top of the vagina, under the vagina. If it's not in the vagina, you are still technically a virgin by society right, standards. Right. But what I'm talking about is the discipline of denying yourself sexual pleasure. So that would include, that's why I actually would tell this. Well, then, well, then, well, then. The answer to the question so you're saying is yes. Then you're saying that yeah. if you if you're you so you can be a virgin and so you're a virgin. You like so we're not even talking about and not up and around yeah. and about you're a virgin. You're about about virgin. In my this is just my definition. This is mm -hmm. the way I'm seeing things in a grand scope of things. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. That's like me saying, oh um, yeah, I'm I'm. Here we go. I am. I used to be addicted. I'm abstaining from cocaine. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use cocaine anymore, mm -hmm. but I'll use heroin because it's not cocaine, <laughs> but it'll get me high. How about no, but you see my point. How it is if you are <laughs> abstaining from the point of not using cocaine, is you're you're denying yourself of that high, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the point of not using it. Going around it, baby. There's no loopholes in hell. <laughs> I don't know why people want to be, create these imaginary babes. Oh, There's no God. loophole. Like you can't just. Oh well, yeah. I'm. I'm not gonna. I used to kill people, but now I just torture them in my basement. <laughs> like what? I mean, I do <laughs> see for somebody that has. Yeah, you know, you you were sexually active before, decided to become celibate. I do see how masturbating could possibly lead you back into it. Because my example that I would use, masturbating like her, gives you the release, the like same release her, you're trying to sacrifice. Like her this extreme makes sense. example would be. Um, for instance, like smoking. So a lot of people would say that um, I, I don't smoke anymore, but they vape. You know what I'm saying? So that's for some people who may not have gotten her references. They're like, you know, I'm not a smoker anymore, but they pop it on the vape, which I mean, granted, people have said that vaping has taken them off of cigarettes. But, but it now puts you on to vaping. Because you can get addicted it's, it's to nicotine, masturbating. It's nicotine too. I know you men, y'all be masturbating daily. That is just Daily. crazy, crazy. I can't talk for the, you guys. I know, because I be hearing. I be in the group. I'm one of the guys. And I be listening to y'all little conversation. Don't believe some of them dudes. Y'all be, a lot of men don't realize they have addictions, bro. You're jerking off five times a week? That is an addiction. Something is five wrong with you. But you don't but, know from, maybe because y'all don't have these thoughts with your friends. I was about but to I've heard enough stories, like, I was like, I literally will ask guys, how many times do you, you know, asking us, so how many times do you uh, tickle the pickle? You know? You're like, I don't know, like four times. Four times? Why are you masturbating four times? But you know what is scary to me? 
Because I think why can't you go a they, week without masks? That is so weird. You know so why that's scary to me? I think the number is more. No, because it is. If they're I probably was, if down. I was dating, yeah, if I was dating a girl to so ask they're me this flirtatious way, I'll try to give her a low number. Y'all so if he say four times. I'm going to ask. They'd be like, oh, I don't know, like four times. I'd be like, four times, what? Probably twice a day. That, no, but but I need men. You're watching this video. Let this be, <laughs> let this be your inspiration to stop that. Like, there's a, if you can't go, a week without something, I think it's safe to say it's an addiction. But you, you know, if it's not something that you need, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not essential to life. But, if you don't masturbate, you're not gonna die. You know what wait, I'm saying? Wait, wait, like, wait, wait. But let's pull back. Let's pull back a little. Not masturbate, but the result. No. Wait. What do you let, think? Okay, so what you say is saying having sex with the wife was out the week is crazy. You know. Oh, okay. So, you want to know why? No, no, no. That's what I said. That's what I said. It's the result. That you but, but having oh. sex with your wife, that is to encourage a bond. Mm -hmm. That's to encourage the physical bond. Yeah, That's the point of it. Sex. But the point of it is to encourage, because okay, otherwise you, you just masturbate and then you don't have sex with your wife. No, but it's not. You see what I'm saying? Sex and, and, and masturbating. But that's my point. So what I'm saying is the point of the sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. you're, why you should have sex four times, five. <laughs> five times. <laughs> <laughs> Just meet your husband if you're hearing me. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something, future hubby. Let me tell you something, my little pookie pookie. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you're married. I don't know, maybe it's different. Well, I, I think anything less than once a day is ludicrous. Maybe, okay, five times a week. The week has seven that's days. Actually, Goldie will say that's OD. No, let her continue though. <laughs> I think like, four, four to five times a week. Listen, <laughs> this it varies. Obviously, it varies. But on, the point of it is for the connection. It varies on the on on both people. It varies on on because some people talk about more, talk about talk about less. But um, we've learned true research. That a lot of married couples, they or don't. or not when they're together, when they're together, you get most likely true. Mm -hmm. But when they're, especially on the men's side, when they're individual, the the men they tout more times than they're actually doing it. It's not as much as they're actually doing. So I don't want to put your hopes down because hopefully you get Mister. What do you call him, Mister. What? Pookie pookie. pookie pookie. Hopefully you get the pookie pookie that will give you that what you desire. <laughs> but I'll tell you, don't don't run out there putting your expectations too high because. It's one to ability to and availability to. I will make the availability. Things, right? So, <laughs> so and then All you that. have so you, and then you have um, uh, early part of the marriage, and then Middle as time the as time end. <laughs> 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 yeah. and as time progresses, and then you have kids and all that stuff. But we're not getting into that. Into that, but um. But he was saying if you're comparing masturbation to yeah. so what, sex, yeah. it's different because with Sex, it's a, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you're that, it's not like you're using your wife for the pleasure. Mm -hmm. That's not what it is. You're, you're, um, fostering that bond that's with your wife. Too. So you should, but if you're masturbating and you're not, that's, a, no, that's, that's different. Not, I always say that to say that. I always say people know that there's a defined difference. Oh, but you see the pleasure at the end, the end product. Yeah, it's just the end. It's oh, that's worthy. Yes. You know, well, like, but, but now, nah, no, and, sex four times compared to masturbating four times. Y'all, there is a difference. A lot of men that masturbate, that's why men that over masturbate cannot perform with women. They'll get easy different. or whatever. It's different. Mm -hmm. Once you trained yourself, that's muscle memory, my guy. Yeah, it's different. It's definitely not the same. But um I'm kind of on towing the line with the with the masturbation thing because they're towing the line. So you you think a celibate person No, no, no. In terms of um what we're saying about like uh, you know, a guy masturbating four times. To me, you know, that seems like a lot, but there there are people that would say that, okay, things sound wrong with it's you. it's like can't. it's like sexual release, right? So if somebody if somebody There's was to tell you ways. I know, but if somebody were to tell you, there are people that would think if you had a glass of wine a night that you're an alcoholic. If you But yeah, are you really an alcoholic? I think so. I don't think so. Um, well, uh, alcohol abuse or oh, abusive mm -hmm. is like you're it's like misusing it, like you're overdoing mm -hmm. it. I think if you cannot I, go a day without drinking wine, you have an alcohol problem. Right. If you cannot go a day. You can't go a day. Meaning, if day not in, day there, out, you, you yeah. keep like 
something's like you, you'll lose it if you don't have a glass of wine. So let's go back to the mastery. There are people that have different levels of libido, right? Yes. Just like we said, there, there are married couples that have it way more and then some married couples that have it way less. Obviously, they're, they're extremes of the, the spectrums, right? Yes. And I think that there might be people that masturbate that fall into that category that if they were with somebody, they would be one of those people that were having sex more. They're just masturbating more. Because they don't have someone. Yeah. But these dudes be having someone. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them be having girls and then they still masturbate. Well, no, they, no, obviously not. Obviously not. But then I don't know. I always think that it's like if you, you're watching porn and masturbating and everything, that is. Oh, well, that part too, the the, the watching, that's what I was about to say that earlier too, I think. Because don't you have dance to watch porn? You don't have to. Don't most of them watch porn? I think they do. I don't know. But I would say that if you have to add porn in there, you know, we have imaginations. Especially yeah, if you're, it's if very you're wild. Self, if you're, or remember, if you're a guy, um, you know, you've been act sexually, sexually active. You know, you can remember somebody. You can remember an experience and do what you gotta do. So I think the porn thing has a, a different level. Where I would be like, yeah, why you? Firstly, why you have to watch that to even get aroused? You know what I mean? And then to perform the act, so it's like you almost need. You need the porn, yeah, yeah, because you're you addicted. Know, addicted. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, You're addicted. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's that's another um that's another part. It's the way you <laughs> You need to stop. You know, right. you, like, I think that 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 definitely acts it adds another layer and I'd be like, yeah, you gotta So you do you feel like being celibate and macerating like that's I just don't think it's, I don't think you're, if you're going to be not, it's not helping. having someone it's lick all helping. over your private parts, you might as well just do it. Because what are you doing? <laughs> I'm very black and white when it comes, either you're doing it or you're not. And if you're not, then why are you trying to tiptoe around doing it? See, to <laughs> me, don't to tiptoe. Me, I look at it like this. There's veganism, there's pescatarianism, there's blah, blah, blah. So like some people eat meat. They eat fish. Right. And what? What else? What's pescatarian again? You eat fish That's and drink meat. milk. Yeah. But you don't eat meat. Animals. The main the main thing is you don't eat animals, but then you just restrict vegans, right? Don't eat any animals. Everything is from Mother Earth. So I kind of see it that way when it comes with the celibacy because I think what helps you cope and makes you not have the intercourse, except the people who are doing the like you're getting the except the people who are doing the fellatio and stuff. That's what I'm that's, saying. That's it's the like, same. What's the difference from about, uh, between fellatio and masturbation? Fellatio well, is masturbation non- with someone new else doing it for you. It ain't the same. I was about to say something and we're on the internet. Okay. <laughs> you guys, let, let us know in the comments if Masturbating and foreplay is discussed. <laughs> to me, it's legit the same thing. Masturbating and foreplay, masturbating, foreplay is just someone else doing the masturbation yeah, or that's you. That's different. But it's the same place. You're getting because that pleasure dude, out of it. Whacking off in the car and do have a girl something whacking off for him with her mouth in the car yes. is different. You still get in sexually of, pleasure. In terms of visuals? Let me, no, <laughs> in not terms just of visuals. What is your ashy ass hands? Exactly. The next one is a, that's, that's the a, the next one is a girl. That's like, one difference. On. That's one difference. Um, if you really want to discuss the difference in it, that's one difference. The other thing is that it's a person. So unless it's a prostitute, mm-hmm. you're, you, you, you probably went on a date with the person, you're interacting with the person, you're flirting with the person, and then they come through that in the car. That's different versus you just there with your dry ass hands or with cream or whatever in the car. So this pleasure is pleasure is pleasure, but y'all let us know in the comments. <laughs> I think if you're celibate, you should be just celibate all the way through. No. You're, there's no sexual pleasure at all, but I don't no, know. I that agree. may make a difference. I, I agree with that. I'm just saying equaling masturbation. The four blade? Yeah. Definitely same to me. Maybe it's for a guy is different. Mm. Um, but yeah, y'all let us know in the comments. Team Desert Team T. Uh, <laughs> Not. But let's, let's let's get into really quick um some of the benefits of celibacy as a man that you encountered. Uh benefits of celibacy. One of the biggest benefits, if you watch our last episode, is that we discussed, for those who may not go back to watch it, um, how men can regain, I don't know if the word regain, but gain control over the abuse of sex that mm-hmm. women do to men to control us and manipulate us um you you gain control mm-hmm. um if for some reason 
uh, you are in a situation where you're not with your significant other. Maybe you, maybe you work in the military and you're away from home and you aren't, they're not available to, to have intercourse with, you know, it, it, at some point you're able to push through because you've lived it in right. the past, right? Uh, it's like people who fast. The more you fast, fasting becomes easier. Right? you get? <laughs> She said the skinny you get. For those who, if it doesn't pick up on the mic. Yeah. Um, so people who fast more, over time, fasting becomes more of a, you, you focus less on the fasting and more of the prayer. Yeah. More of the the, the giving of, of donations and helping people versus like, oh man, I got to wait till 12 o'clock, I got to wait till mm -hmm. 6 o'clock or whatever time. So because you, you, you've you experienced that, because you've lived it, because you, you've been able to be disciplined um, in, in being celibate or uh, your virginity, it helps you in those situations. Um, it also will help you if, let's say, your spouse is... Mm, yeah, I'll, mm, I'll just say it. Let's say your spouse is a pilot. Okay. Let's say your spouse is a pilot. They have to fly for three days or something. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you know, they're not around. Even in that period of time when you might be, your libido may be high mm -hmm. because whether you're a woman, it's coming up to that time of the month and before that, you know, mm -hmm. you feel extra horny or you're a guy and you just feel like you want it, you know, you're not going to be trying to have sex with a neighbor or have sex with a yeah. girl like, you know, that's funny with you at the grocery store. So yeah, store sexual discipline so, yeah, in like definitely sex. monogamy. Yeah, yes. Mm, that's a big So one. that's that's big. I think it, it's Because men, I think practice, not to interject, but mm -hmm. men, they're so used to like sleeping around at their disposal mm -hmm. that when they are committed, mm -hmm. they find it hard to remain disciplined and they yes. don't even know why. Yes. So they ruin good relationships. Yes. Because of their sexual indiscipline. And be and infidelity is easier. Yeah. Because now it's That's like what it's to. like, you know, the yeah. excuse is almost, you know, my animalistic whatever yeah. took over. And and that's why, you know, you know, man. yeah, you know, it's like, oh, you've been away for so long, you know, or this is another part men don't think about your sometimes now you you should have sexual intercourse when your spouse or your significant other is pregnant. Yeah. But sometimes you can't. Yeah. Because the pregnancy might be a difficult It'll one. affect their... Now, yeah. you're not going... You're, you're going to have control. You know, time's going to come. She, you know, baby's going to come, you know, and then you're going to be able to do your thing. So I think control, to me, is one of the biggest benefits because control leads to prevention of infidelity and some of the other things that I just mentioned. Wow. I think that's, like, the biggest thing for men. Because, I mean, listen, a woman breathes too hard in your eardrum and that thing stands up. Let me tell you something. <laughs> And I, and I have breathed <laughs> and I have breathed on many a hair drum. Okay. Woo! It's something else. Oh my god. Y'all are just nasty. <laughs> nasty little creatures. Oh my Horny god. little creatures running the ground. Hey, we've been designed that. <laughs> I, I don't even lie for it. We've been designed that way, you know. That's a really good I really like because that's true. Like mm -hmm. Again, like, you know, if you're just used to jerking off every day or yeah. like whatever, and you just don't have any sort of discipline, you might think, oh, yeah, like I'm getting all the girls or whatever. But really and truly, when the time comes for you to mm -hmm. be a man and to like to stand on business, a lot of men cannot stand on business because mm -hmm. why? They don't want to lose their best eater. They not willing to lose their best eater to level up in life. So when when you ruin a good marriage, yeah. let's say you do find a woman that's yeah, down yeah, for you. Yeah. Now you're sick. Mm -hmm. Now you're sick. You want to know why? Because you ain't never going to find mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. Good women don't come by in these times. Yeah. Don't come by them easy. So, yeah. you know, you really want to learn that discipline now. Yeah. As opposed to waiting until the moment mm -hmm. presents itself. Then it's like, damn, now I got to. It's more difficult. Yeah. That's you know? Of course. Yeah. Yep, it, I, this is a quote that I live by. is temporary discomfort for long-term success. Yeah. So, yeah, celibacy may not be fun now, you know. Um, I mean, <laughs> nothing about it is fun, to be <laughs> honest. But I'm thinking about future destiny. Yeah. And I know that future destiny would be very happy about the decision I'm making today. Yeah. You know, I don't want to end up pregnant or with an STD mm -hmm. or with physical, um, like my pH being thrown off yeah. and all this stuff. And um, that's my point that I'm coming to for what, why it's important for women. Right. For one, you know, you really want to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. um, granted, there's all of these different precautions that you can take with right. sex. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of people who went through life without getting But pregnant if or... you don't do it, then you don't even have to worry about the course. I mean, but let's be real. How many people are actually 
are actually practicing safe sex every single time. Exactly. That I would put go out on a limb to say the majority of of adults do not oh, practice today? safe sex. No. I would go out on a limb and today. say that. I know. I feel like I just know that. Like I don't know the numbers, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to bet my last oh. dollar. The majority of people that adults that have sex yeah. do not use. Well, all the precautions, we've, right? We've gone past the, the HIV AIDS. Yeah, if that was the case, why are diseases still being spread at at, at, at record numbers? Yeah. You know, why is, is abortion at a record high? Mm. You know, even now that it's against the law in a lot of states, mm -hmm. why is it, you know, yeah. why are more women getting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. so clearly, safe sex isn't being practiced. And um, as a woman, it's important to protect yourself. And this has nothing to do with your value. Because uh, a lot of women would think, oh, because I had sex, oh, my value going down. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, people use the car analogy. You don't want to put mileage on that mm -hmm. thing, blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. But for me, it's more about your safety, your your physical safety, mm -hmm. um, mental safety. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be um, attaching yourself to men that, that are not going to, that are not good for you. Right. But also men that are not going to be in your future. So you're the way I see it is wasting time. You just wasted time and energy with someone that literally so, does not. Yeah, so, hey, I didn't care about time. I just wanted that moment. Well, maybe you should care about time because we don't have a lot of it. <laughs> so um, that's my biggest thing is the protection. Women, we have a greater responsibility to bear when it comes to sex. Men have the option of walking away. Men don't have a lot of pH balance issues. You know, men can carry diseases and not get one symptom. I know a man that gives so many women chlamydia mm -hmm. and did not know he had it. And those women found out because it got bad. Because chlamydia is something, it sneaks up on you. You right. have it for a while, it's, it's not no a thing. You know what I'm saying? I personally know people with no women with herpes. Mm -hmm. I personally know women with HPV. Mm -hmm. Diseases are real out here. And I know in the midst of the feminist movement, mm -hmm. it's very pro, do what you want with your vagina. Do what you want, but also remember, consequences are real and they are heavy for the woman when it comes to sex let these men do what they do we are not men babes yeah we're not men we cannot go around just, just doing parts whatever wise. we just can't parts wise we're i mean not. You, you know what if you have that one in you know interaction and then whatever you get you can't even have a child in the future you because know what i'm saying you, like you, yeah Come on. So for me, it's thinking about your future and just protecting yourself, mm -hmm. protecting your body, your mind and your spirit. You know, um, sex is always going to be there. I'm not saying never have it. I'm not saying you have to be celibate. Right. But I am saying that celibacy will avoid all of those consequences. Mm -hmm. You can't get pregnant if you're not having sex. You can't have an STD if you're not having sex. One, two, three. Yeah. So, um, you know, the consequence is it's heavy for a woman to bear in that case. And I think just all around the board, um, discipline is the highest form of self-love. Yeah. It's the highest form of self-love. And it's all about denying yourself of pleasures, little pleasures, for long-term success. So understand that with celibacy, it's a discipline. Um, with monogamy, there's a discipline. If you want to get married, there's certain things you're going to have to learn how to do before the marriage. Mm -hmm. You don't wait till you get there yeah. then to figure it out. Um, and then also, your it's also about thinking of your future self. Right. You know, like, yeah, now it'll be nice to sleep around and do whatever, but God forbid yeah. that goes right and it goes through for a lot. I, I think people don't understand, like, STDs are really real. Like, it's, it's, yeah. I, I know people. It's in the neighborhood. Because nobody's talking about it. Like, of course, you got you got the clap. You ain't gonna tell your friends, "Hey guys, so I got the clap." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, all of these celebrities and yeah. the it's in the music and it's hyping it up. Mm -hmm. But also remember, in in the hype, they've had one or two SCDs. They just ain't put that in in the ski -E song. <laughs> yeah. Ski, -E, if you see me, I'm trying to get the clap. Ski, -E. yeah. you hear that? You know, they they give you all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Um, don't be led astray. You know, and also, you don't tell you about when they're worried. They know they when they thought wrong, they were going to be they pregnant. They thought they were going to be They didn't tell you about that STD scare. Yeah. They did not tell you about that. You know, especially if you're a man or woman and you are celibate or maybe you are a virgin, that's celebrate yourself. That's great. In today's culture, you are one of the very few um, that are disciplined in that area. 
And if you love yourself and you truly value yourself, then you're going to do anything by all means necessary to ensure that you live a good life. And you got to be disciplined for that. So and I hope the that beginning that you mentioned, um, you know, people want to make you feel bad about yeah. it. The people that will try to make you feel bad about it and not support you are the people that don't have the discipline and the people that basically think that because you're making this decision, that's difficult for them to make. Yeah. That you are putting yourself, and if they feel like that way, that should be above. Be friend. Yeah. Like, like, oh, you think it's you're the same better. Like if you're getting into business and now you're so talking stupid. down to you, that shouldn't be your friend. Um, the people that support you will support you. Uh, and if nobody supports you, still do it. It's, it's about it's your future. Yeah. yeah. So we hope that that brings you guys, you know, a new perspective today. Um, let us know in the comments how you feel about celibacy. And yes. if you are on this journey, mm -hmm. what's been the hardest part? What's been the easiest part? Yes. What's been the parts that are most rewarding? Yes. Because it is rewarding, even though it is, it sucks. Mm -hmm. It kicks rocks. Yeah. Okay. But it is rewarding. And um, yeah, we hope that uh, these solutions yeah. uh, help you guys out today. Yeah. Any last words? I mean, listen, there's a lot of things that you're going to, challenges you're going to face in life. You're going to have to deal with stopping things. And um, if this is one of the things that you want to stop, go for it. Because as we mentioned, when you start with one discipline, it leads into other things. So if this is where you choose to start, go for Great. it. Because you never know what are the other parts of your life that is going to be a beneficial, positive thing where you have control. Being able to have control, man. It, that is an it's, underrated it's, yes. what, uh, asset. It's so underrated. Because is today underrated we, we've been asset, taught man. to make so many excuses for ourselves. Based on this how you happened, feel. That happened in the past when I wasn't a baby. Happy. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know. If it doesn't make you, know, you happy, don't do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, just just own up and, and, and do it. Just do better I for yourself, you, man. You can do it. I did it. And it's never She's too late to it. start. Never too late to start. You know, um, Jesus loves you. All of you all. And I there's never too late to start. I know it's probably that hard for y'all, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Um, who's y'all? I'm a virgin. I'm talking about right. People who've been in... Uh, what? I don't mean? relate to y'all. Who am I talking to? For the rest of y'all, mm, chill. <laughs> all right, Hell man. is a hot place. Let me say... <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, we'll see you guys in our next episode. Yes. Please like, share, subscribe, mm. save. Yeah. And stop masturbating. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ooh, two episodes in the can.